So let's talk about number one on learning objective 3.8c, find the inverse of this particular equation. Remember to find the inverse, just flip-flop the x and the y, so you have x equals 2 minus 3y. Now the only thing you have to do is isolate and get y by itself, so it means we have to move the 2 and the negative 3. So let's first move the 2 by subtracting 2 from both sides. Gives you x minus 2 equals negative 3y. Next step is to divide everything by negative 3. And I think this is the most common mistake people are making. If you divide everything by 3, there's two ways to do it. If you do the negative 3 here, negative 3 here, negative 3 here, you're going to make fewer mistakes. So when you simplify this, I'm going to put the y first. And notice I could just do x over negative 3. And be careful, folks, a negative 2 divided by negative 2, you would never keep that. It's a positive 2 thirds. So if you do that, this right here would be an appropriate answer. There's a couple ways you could write this in Schoology. You could either write what you see on the screen. The negative could actually go with the x if you want to, because you can interchange them. This is considered in y equals mx plus b format, because what you see is you see the slope first, and then the y-intercept second. So this is one format of the correct answer. Now I think what people are doing is this. At this stage, where you're making a mathematical flaw, is you come in and you divide everything by negative 3. And you can do it this way, uh, such that the negative 3 is divided by the whole thing. But then you have to break it up. You would have to break it up into its two components here. And when you do it that way, what you'll end up getting is one of the answers down here.